been a hot minute, a hot minute. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nima. Um, it is the first video of 2022. You guys know I hate intros, so I'm just jumping straight into this. And honestly, I'm just trying my best. <laughs> I am really excited for this year. But also, last year was a lot for me, and I feel like I'm still kind of recovering from it. So 2022, I'm easing myself into it slowly. Um, so I'm here. I'm just doing the best I can for this first week, you know? Okay, so, hi, here we go. Usually I pick out all the makeup before I sit down, but today I think I'm gonna try it with you guys. I've got some of the things already that I know for sure I'm gonna feature because the reason why I'm filming this video is because I have a new under, not, it's not new, y'all. There's like literally almost no new makeup technique under the sun right now, and it's fine. I think we just figure out different ways that work for us, and specifically me, since I have really dark skin. Um, I actually got a question about how I do my under eye highlight where it still looks like lifted, but not like way too bright. I've been on YouTube for five years now. It feels like, I don't know, it's a weird space. I feel like it's it feels longer than five years, but also feels shorter than five years at the same time. I don't understand why it feels like that, but that's what it feels like. Um, but yeah, I've been on it for five years and my makeup skill level has definitely changed. When I get questions about like, oh, how do you brighten your under eyes without like making it look crazy? I have been there, I get it. Since quarantine, like since 2020, I've just been all about really leaning into what I've always loved about makeup, which is for me, I just love very simple, clean, fresh makeup. And um, with the beauty community, it felt like everyone was wanting eyeshadow after eyeshadow after eyeshadow after eyeshadow. And I was just like, Lord, that's not my lane. I love complexion. That's like, I love eyeshadow, don't get me wrong. And I love to do it. Actually, I'm doing a really cute eye look today. It's inspired by Zendaya. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. I took screenshots of a video, so it might not be the clearest. I thought it was super cute, this. Come on, focus. That is so cute. I love like the eye, the wing. At, it's not connected to her lid, and I feel like she kind of has like a hooded eye as well, similar to what I have, so I'm hoping it looks good. But yeah. Anyways, where was I? Wow, I'm like all over the place. This is normally how it is when I am trying. This is why like you guys probably <laughs> always see my videos and I'm always very like chill because I have to calm myself down because I will like a million miles a minute. I'm just gonna pick up my make pick out my makeup. Oh what god, wow. I was just explaining that I'm gonna be using these powders. Is that hair? Nope, oh, that's definitely hair. I'm gonna be using these powders today um, to show you guys how I do my under eye brightening thing. I've been obsessed with this Danessa Myricks powder, so I'm actually really excited to show you guys this. I've been using this for a month now and I've been meaning to like put this on the tube because it is fire. I know I'm probably late to the powder. It's probably been out for a while now, but it is Game changer, game changer. I haven't used this in a minute. This is the Dior Backstage Foundation. I actually really like it. So I'm gonna use that, the NARS Soft Matte Primer, which is fire as well. Contour. I haven't used the Fenty Beauty Caviar in a minute, so I'll use that today. I'm gonna use two different concealers. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay. It's been a minute. I know I'm rusty, but come on, give me a focus. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. These are pretty similar shades. Actually, no, this is a little bright. I'll use this one. <clears throat> this is the MAC 24-hour uh, Studio Fix Concealer. Okay, you know you're rusty when you have to like hype yourself up. Okay, first of all, anyways, hi, I'm Nima. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with the NARS Soft Matte Primer. I have always loved complexion. Like, I am obsessed with complexion. I have been doing my brows kind of before foundation. Mm -hmm. Ish. I feel like once I adapted to brows after foundation, brows before foundation just felt so unnecessary. <laughs> so for foundation, I'm gonna use your Backstage Foundation. Oh, I'm wearing my Jellabia. You guys probably don't even know what that is. Um, well, some of you guys will. Um, I got these from Ethiopia for my trip last year. Wow, that feels so weird to say that, last year. I live in them, basically. I went to Ethiopia last year, it was amazing, and I can't wait to go back. Actually, some of my baby sisters are actually trying to go, they wanna go actually visit for the first time this year, and I've been really excited about that. I'm excited to take them. I talked a little bit about this on Instagram, 
about how last year 2021 was like really amazing career wise for me personal life wise it was just very interesting um and interesting and like not the best way <laughs> i went through a lot like emotionally 2021 that's probably why you guys didn't see so much of me i was just honestly <laughs> Done. Like I was truly just like mentally, emotionally just like drained and I just needed to like every single bit of energy that I had, I had to like stockpile it so that I can get out those amazing projects for you guys because oh my god. If it wasn't for those, like the things that we did last year, like the Dose of Colors collab finally coming out, Masterclass with CVS, like wow, I don't know, I'd be very, very like like whoa oh and freaking sports um was really amazing i clung to like my work achievements so hard to kind of like keep me going thankfully i'm feeling a lot better now and i am here happy and like trying to you know keep going but 2021 tried me but it's okay yeah so that's probably why, like I said, you guys didn't see a lot of me last year, especially on YouTube. I was on Instagram, barely on TikTok. Like you know, most of my TikToks are like my dog. So if you like dog content, um, head over to my TikTok. You'll see a little bit of that. To be honest, I think everyone had a very similar 2021 from what I can tell online when everyone's talking about it. It's kind of, it kind of seems like um, everyone's kind of went through the same kind of like feeling of like, just like it tried us emotionally on a different level. You know, I'm not really good at being like sad. And that's part of the reason why, of course, I'm in therapy, therapy girl, is because I don't talk about my feelings. Like I don't talk about like what I'm going through, how I'm feeling and things like that. So therapy forces me to talk and forces me to like, let's figure this out because something's not right. So I'm very thankful for that, but yeah. All right, so let's blend. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm supposed to be teaching. Okay, so. <laughs> This concealer that I'm using is very similar besides it being way redder than I what I normally like to use. You guys can't see it as much on this side now, but when before the makeup, obviously. It, it looks a little bit more hollow and a little bit more darker around my eyes than everywhere else. So I use a, what's it called, concealer? Concealer close to my skin tone. The red helps because also um, the red kind of helps uh, balance out the discoloration that I have underneath my eyes. Most of my brightening honestly comes from powdering. Um, I use two different powders, one to set and then one to lift. For brightening, I'm gonna use, I don't wanna use this concealer. I feel like this is too similar to the one I just used. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. This will help brighten, but this is a lot lighter than I've been recently going. So I'm just gonna put a little bit and pray that, whoa, this is much lighter than I normally go. Also, you know what? The reason why five years ago my under eyes were so bright is because this was the only concealer I could use. Like, concealer's products just didn't go deep enough, obviously. So that's why it was like, Phew. but now with more like brands coming out with more products and like deeper uh, shades and more variations of undertones and shades and things like that, I can now manipulate how I want my products to look exactly on my face. I have been doing this like corner eye lifting thing. I actually do feel like it lifts my corner, my eye a little bit. So I've been doing that. Also, this eye is like, y'all, I fucked up my eye, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I did, I'm not gonna lie. I have really bad allergies, I've always had them. But obviously, you know, I turned 30 last year and I can't be tugging on my eyes the way I used to. And I had a really bad like allergy week and I was just going to town y'all like rubbing it going in like every freaking day I woke up one day and I was like, uh-uh, what's that? And like this one has like a little bubble right here Which is fine. You know, it is what it is But it did tell me I did learn my lesson and I am very gentle with my under eyes now Just my, the eye area in general. I know like, you know, people always say like it's very sensitive area and it is you know it's very thin skin right there and all that but allergies don't care about your thin skin for contour like i said i'm going to use the caviar matchstick and i contour higher than like where my cheekbone is because i feel like when i go there like when i go exactly there it like drags my face down i've been using the matte conceal and correct palette so let's blend this in I did my brows before priming and now I'm already regretting it because they're moving and shifting around a lot. Next time I need to prime first and set my brow area. 
put some powder so it doesn't move around too much. So I'm gonna blend in my forehead spot with a brush because I wanna keep the brightness exactly where I put it and the sponge will spread it a little bit too far on my forehead specifically. I also don't like to take it too far out and blow it too far out because then it just takes over your entire face. I'm also very specific about how far I blend this shade of concealer. I keep it pretty tight right here and then I keep it pretty tight right here. So earlier you guys saw I was like blending down. With this I try and blend up. I'm genuinely so thankful that I enjoy doing this because it can be a lot. Like being so meticulous and like it's literally art. Like anyone that tells you that like doing makeup is not art and I'm not even the best at it. Like there's some people out there that literally draw like, I don't understand, I don't understand. Like they are scientists at this point. <laughs> I don't understand, but it is very, very, very meticulous. You know, see what I meant? Like, I really don't overly brighten. I rely on the powder to do the brightening for me. I feel like it's easier for me to rely on the powder because I can control that a little bit more than like cream and liquid products. Okay, so setting powder. Danessa Myrick's setting pow evolution powder in the shade number four. There is a shade deeper than this. It's just a little too red for me. For my under eyes, this shade looks better because it kind of like balances out every with everything else on my face. So I'm just taking a little bit like that. Oh, that looks so good. Stop. You all this powder. And this isn't going to overly brighten, but you see how it's already brightening? I like it. I like it. See, this is what I meant when I say I usually rely on powders because it's like, a little bit easier for me to control. Also, if you use a brush, it's even easier to control, like versus like a sponge. But I like the sponge because I feel like it kind of helps, you know, push everything in and marries everything together. Still don't contour my nose because it looks like trash on me. I just, my nose bridge is just too flat. Like I just don't, I can't. It just looks like race lines. This is gonna be a long ass video. I can already tell we're 30 minutes in and just barely on complexion and I wanna do eyes. Hmm. So yeah, I feel like I needed to give you guys a cute little like where have I been update because it's been two months. But also, you know, life is life. Life has been lifing like life has never lifed before. I'm gonna use a few of these Bare Mineral, Original Mineral Veil setting powders. I'm gonna use a translucent to set all over my face. And then I'm gonna use Sheer Deep to brighten underneath my eyes a little bit more. All right, so now we're gonna spray with setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder over some of the areas that I don't want too much shine. Okay, so it's time to do the brows, the brows, the eyes. <laughs> I think this is actually gonna be really simple because it looks like she didn't do much. I'm gonna take this, whoa, almost down on some face. I'm gonna take this shade. <laughs> This red, wow, come on. This red shade, right here. There, 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 there. I'm gonna take that shade. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of it into my crease area. Y'all, I have to prime my lid. It doesn't really look like she has a red. It looks very like neutral, but just the wing on the top of the crease. And I hope I can do this, honestly. This might be out of my skill level. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like I said, I can do complexion all day. Now, eyeshadow tricks might be out of my level. I'm lying, I'm pretty good, pretty decent at eyeshadow. I prefer to master complexion first. Yeah, so her eyelid is very, looks very close to her skin tone, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I wanna take this higher than it looks like on her crease, cause I have a feeling it's gonna get blended out. I'm gonna start with this shade and I might have to go to this shade to add a little bit of depth, but I'm gonna start here. So I'm taking a black on a really tiny brush and I'm just like trying to define my lash line right there. I think that's working pretty good. Okay, now it's finally coming together because I was getting real scared there for a moment, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be cute, quick, like I'm just gonna, you know, mm -hmm. psych. <laughs> Here I am, blending everything little by little. I wonder who did this glam for her. I know she, from what I can tell, because I follow her on Instagram, um, she usually uses like two or three different makeup artists, which is pretty cool. She like sticks to the same few people. They are definitely uneven, but you know what? 
cousins, not twins. Because I can't even sometimes get these girls to be in the same family. So I'll take cousins because they're definitely not sisters. Bottom lash line. It looks like they smoked it out quite a bit. So I'm going to start up here. She doesn't really have any mascara on her bottom lashes, just her top. Also, I have really baby lashes, so, and I really don't want to wear a lash. It's still one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Oh, we got six minutes left on my battery, hold up. I don't think I'm gonna change out of my Della Bia today. It's not happening. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more layer of mascara because this is actually looking really good. And I don't think I'm gonna have to wear falsies. Yes. This is my Dior Nude Air Luminizer. It has been a minute. Why did I try and stop wearing highlighter? This is stunning. I think it looks pretty close. I really do like the top wing. It's very different. When I first thought, I was like, ooh, that's cute. When you see these mascara commercials, they're literally wearing like five, probably like six or so many coats of mascara. And I'm expecting it to look like that, but I put on only like one or two coats. But sometimes it does look spidery, but to be honest, at least you can see them. For lips, she just went very simple and very plain. Like, it looks like a clear gloss, but it might have a little bit of tint. So I'm gonna use my Dose of Colors collab in a gen. Oh, I forgot to tell YouTube fam. <laughs> you guys probably already know. But this is back in stock. It is back. This is the last restock. If you have not gotten it yet, the entire collection is back. My coral, uh, my nude set. It is so, y'all. If you guys have not seen it yet, I forgot. I'm so sorry, I didn't remind you guys soon enough, but if this is your first time hearing that my collab is back, it's back, girl. Um, this is it, this is the look. I like it, I like it, I like it. The eyes actually are really cute, I like it, I like it a lot. So that's pretty much it for today's video. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and join the Nima Tang family. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you like it, comment down below what was your favorite part of this blend? Because a lot of it was a little bit different than what I normally show on YouTube. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.